Broad Strokes Productions presents The Great Wizarding War. Written by Justin Zagri and Garrett Schwackhauser. Directed by Justin Zagri. Produced by Mick Ignis. Chapter 9. The Knight's Turn. Rodolphus? All exits and entryways to St. Mungo secured. Guards posted with all healers. Excellent. And the lab? I've got Dolohov guarding Severus in the dungeon. You have Dolohov guarding Severus? I didn't see the problem. That man nearly blew up this hospital before he captured it. Snape's work is delicate enough not to be guarded by a hammer like Dolohoff. Reassign him. Very well. You can't do this! We need to help the injured! I'm sorry, Mr. Luther. I'm taking a right to the dungeons for speaking up. It's all right, Electo. Nobody said you can't, madame. Just only the ones we want you to help. I'm not helping you. You. Put a wand on her. Make sure she does as she's told. Right away. Luther! Ah, Mrs. Lestrange. Bellatrix. We'll do fine. What are we doing with this place? The Dark Lord has plans for it. It has to do with that parchment he found, doesn't it? I couldn't possibly say, Bellatrix. You know that. Mm, Whatever's going on, I need to be in the know. After what happened with the last raid and my husband's performance in the field, I seek an audience with the Dark Lord, so I may be more involved. I know your husband makes things difficult, Bellatrix. I sympathize. What the Dark Lord has planned, it's too important to let out. But I promise, I will make sure you have an audience with him in due time. Thank you, Luthor. Evening, Amicus. Enjoying your new office? Very much so. Do you have that watch ready for me? Oh, I do indeed. Just press the timer for the stopwatch and the Confunder's charm will take effect. Brilliant. Have you seen Lucius? He's supposed to be with Narcissa at the ball, right? Ah, yes, I remember. Well, I should be back soon. (laughs) Don't forget your mask. (laughs) Does it have to be a loo? Oh, the mask. Are we sure these masks are a good idea? It's the minister's idea of defiance. It's not required, but they're checking everyone who goes to the ball, so everything will be just fine. I'm just so nervous, you know. It's Thank you all so much for being a part of our Take Back the Mask charity ball. You have my deepest gratitude and your patience with us, as security is understandably far tighter tonight. Your contributions to the war effort will help keep hope in these dark times. Hmm. Night to D3. Hopefully that will help a bit, Arthur. I appreciate taking the time to talk about Lucius being on the Wizengamot, Mr. Fudge. Of course, Mrs. Malfoy. Lucius and I were shocked after word about Luther's betrayal. We need to make sure we are choosing the most loyal among us to keep our world safe. I know you have some pull with the Minister. Yes, we are all terribly concerned about that. Along with being on the Wizengamot, he was in charge of record keeping. Who knows what he's confounded. By the way, I wanted to speak to you about the Auras working with this vigilante group, the Order of the Phoenix. Are you sure that's a good idea? Department of Mysteries. Headed to Department of Mysteries. 
Would you mind? Actually, I would. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, I'm sure you can spare a moment. We're both going the same. Huh. Where was I going? Elsewhere. Before I was so rudely interrupted, headed to Department of Mysteries. I'm not a fan of those pomp and circumstance functions either. We'll find it. You don't understand. It's only yesterday I found out one of my staff was an informant. He's been sneaking around for months, and what he stole, I didn't even know it existed until I realized it was missing. How could, could anyone create a potion so terrible? Just try to calm down, my love. Do you have the copy? Yes. From what I read, the ingredients are terribly difficult to find, and it only works under certain conditions. The planets have to be just in the right place, and... I understand. But if they succeed at this, wherever they decide to use it, it would be utterly disastrous. Thousands of wizards would be irreparably harmed. Whole areas would be vulnerable. All right. All right. Let's get the copy and see if we can get an expert or two to decipher it. Maybe they can come up with something to counter it, should it be used. I'm sorry to put this on you now. You should be enjoying the party upstairs. Oh. Just a bunch of unnecessary pomp and circumstance. My time with you is much better spent. Thank you, darling. Here we are. Minetta, this cannot be in anyone else's hands. I'm terribly sorry, ladies. This will be over soon. I appreciate you letting me tell you long, Minister. Please make this quick, Mr. Malfoy. The summoning I received said it was most urgent and... Pardon. I... As you know... I fully support the retaking of St. Mungo's. I'm sure the Ministry will handle it soon. I'm terribly sorry to hear about the Administrator's death. Oh, it was a tragedy. I'm curious if you might be open to a proposal for a replacement. My wife, Narcissa. Excuse me, Department? Oh, Atrium. Right. You. I'm done with this portal. Please close. Heard you have a problem with me. Dolohov. What are you still doing here? Answer the question. Your reputation precedes you. The Dark Lord puts you in charge of taking this hospital, and you nearly destroyed it. Yet, it still stands. We are to establish a new order, not tear it all down. Until I see annoying flies like the Pruitt's gone, I'll tear down what I like. You are relieved. I'm looking after Severus now. You can't give me orders. But I can inform the Dark Lord of your behavior. Ha! Close the portal before you go. Hello, Severus. Professor. Luther. How are you coming along? Almost finished, but this isn't easy at all. I see. Aside from this parchment looking over a thousand years old and nearly impossible to read, the requirements are... What? I'd say it makes Polyjuice Potion look like a second year's task by comparison. Well, we managed all the ingredients, and based on your reputation, I'm sure you can handle it. What it says it does. Are you sure this is what the Dark Lord wants? I'm as sure as anything. Because if this is used improperly, or 
in the wrong place. Thousands of wizards. I know. That's why I trust you with it. Thank you, sir. Do you mind if I take a moment here? Not at all. <laughs> Been on my feet all day. Do you remember around Halloween of last year, during defense against the dark arts, when I was teaching advanced counter curses? You had several classes where... It was one class in particular. I had you face James Potter. Yes. I remember that day. I always thought you showed such impressive restraint. I wanted to make sure I got good marks. But there was a moment there where you almost had him. I was just curious, did you... I did direct the counter curse to just miss him, yes. It must have been a good feeling. The look on his face... Was priceless. <sighs> but I knew I would face discipline if I injured him. The night you defeated him, that feeling, it must have been amplified. You had a chance to kill him. Why didn't you? I almost did. You think I should have? I think James is extraordinary in his own right, and is a pure blood. So I'd rather you didn't. But I'd understand if you had. I felt it wasn't right for the reasons you mentioned. I see. Pardon me, I had to concentrate on this for a moment. Of course. I heard Lily Evans was working here for a while. And? Well, she joined the Order recently. Is that right? What do you think about her joining us? when all this is over. I doubt she would, but hopefully one day she'll understand. She's important to you, yes? Sometimes I wonder if people like her understand what they're fighting for. I wonder when this is over, if they'll ever see things differently. Probably not. What are you fighting for, Severus? Just a moment. There. Now it just needs some time. If I did it right. I'm sure you did. Suppose we can get back upstairs and keep guard. What about my question? For... Luthor, I... It's all right, Severus. This stays between us. Of course. I don't honestly know yet. The pure blood take, well... My father is a muggle. Yes. The Dark Lord must know that, yet... He takes me in, for now. I'm not sure what would happen later. I believe he values loyalty just as much. Are you unsure of that? No. I'm sure of that. So where are your doubts? I'm... I know you and Lily were once close. Yes. And you would get that back if you could. If I could. Perhaps we can. Sir. It is vital to take stock of what's most important in this world. When I lost my wife, I lost something of myself. And I made choices I might not have if she were still here. Knowing what we are about to do, do you feel what you are doing is right? Without question. But what about you, Zephyrus? 
Do you feel you are doing the right thing? What choices would you make if Lily were part of your life now? What was... We're under attack. I need to give the potion to the Dark Lord. No, I need you up there. But what about... You're one of our best ones. I'll keep it safe. Professor! I'll be right here with it. Go! Now! Go! Right. Bombard! Aliomus! Alistair Moody. Luther! Avadakaradakko! <laughs> to retrieve something important. I'm sorry, sir, but I couldn't let you get captured. <sighs> Can someone heal me up? I'll find someone. Need a tailor, too. Now just go. <sighs> uh, she was right. Severus, I can mend that. Why aren't you in the fight? Let me see. Uh. <sighs> You continue to surprise, my friend. Thank you, sir. And I have good news. Is that so? A few oars headed down to the dungeons at St. Mongo's. They were trying to get the potion. How would they know about that? I don't know. But I took care of it. You... you did? Handed the potion to the Dark Lord. It's safe. Oh. Good to know. Well done, Snape. Yeah, uh, you wouldn't be able to fix this tunic, would you? I probably could. That's fine. I'll do it myself. Now, uh, if you would give me a moment alone. Yes, sir. Hello? Where's your master? What are you doing here? Good evening, Professor Dumbledore. Good evening, Professor Frumentar. Now answer my question, please. I'm afraid we have a problem. 